the Whitestone dome glass, tempered glass screen protectors for the iPhone 12 Pro. Now I want to give a special shout out to Whitestone for sending these over. Let's dive right in. The Easy Glass and the Easy Glass for the iPhone 12 Pro. This one's for the camera module and this one is uh, for the front display. Now this one is also for the front display but this is the big boy. This is the premium screen protector with the local glue adhesive and the UV light. So have a look at this one. Four step installation. We'll do this one last We'll take a look at these two first. So I've already unboxed these off camera. So they both basically come with the instructions here, as you can see. They both come with dust removal decals or stickers to remove any debris from the display. They both come with the alcohol wipe. You get two of them each, come with that, and obviously the item itself. Have a look, this is for the camera module. This is the glass. Let's proceed, let's go. All right, this is my phone. This is the tempered glass for the camera module. We'll have a look real fast. We'll pull this out, pull it out, and there you go. Now this is black, so it'll make this area all black. Pretty cool, put that to the side, and then we're gonna go ahead and pretty self-explanatory here. Use the alcohol wipe, clean the surface, use the sticker, remove any uh, dust, wipe it down with the provided cloth. Let's go. Bada bing, bada boom, there you go. Nice and easy. Now it does add a little bit of thickness to the camera module, so do take note of that. All right, now with the easy glass, this also comes with a tray, right? To ease with the installation. Let's go ahead and get started. Boom, pretty easy installation. Take a tray out, use your microfiber cloth. I have some small air bubbles here and there. So just go ahead and work it out. And any air bubbles should really work itself out after about a day or so. Once you start using the device, you put some heat in it, into it, it should clear right up. Nice and easy installation. We'll take a look at the responsiveness. Nice and responsive. We'll go here, that works. Go to notifications, that works. Go to the app switching, that works as well. So you can see, open an app, that works. Open another app, that works as well. Let's take a look at the protector. Now this will clear up after a couple of days or after a day or so. Just work it out, that should disappear. Nice and perfect install. The installation tray really helps. Love that. Check out the cutout for the speaker. Nice. There we go. All right, this is the big boy. Premium screen protector with the uh, local adhesive, etc., and the UV light. This is gonna be crazy. Now I already kind of opened it up off camera. Got a head start on it. And this is basically what you get. You get the tray here, which comes in two pieces, right? You get two of the local glue. And then let me get the phone out. This is the tray with no phone in it. So you can see this is the cutoff of the camera module. Makes it super easy. Phone goes in like that, right? You get the bridge. All right, this is where you put your local glue. You get this little tab here, which holds the glass before you install it. You get some dust removal stickers or dust absorbers. Let's see, you get two of these things. These are the cotton uh, sticks to absorb any extra local glue. You get these wipes, which is cool. Appreciate that, thanks Whitestone. You get your instructions here, a little visual. Take a look at that if you want. Throw that to the side, Whitestone dome glass. A little pamphlet here. You can read that if you want later. You get three of these uh, screen protector wipes. Pretty cool, appreciate that. Over here, get these black strips. Now these are for you to cover up like your speaker grills and the lightning port, etc. So you don't want any local glue into those ports, obviously. Put that to the side. This is the glass itself in this little sleeve. I'm gonna pull it out. Check out the glass right there. We don't need it right now, so I'm gonna put it back in its protective sleeve. There you go. Put that to the side. And then here, this one I did not unbox yet. We'll cut the tape off. 
This is the UV light itself. Oh, get it out and then get the cable out. Yep. This is the light itself. We'll remove that. Whitestone dome glass. And then the cool thing about these new ones now is that they have a timer built in already. You can turn it on for 15 seconds or 60 seconds. That helps with the installation. On the underside, you get six LEDs. Nice. Get your ports right there, on off button. So let me get this straightened out. We'll proceed with the installation. Let's go. Quick recap, put those black strips over the buttons, over this, the the, um, the SIM tray, over the bottom uh, speakers, and also the lightning port, over this part of the phone also, the volume rocker. You don't want any local adhesive in those ports, obviously. And these pads right here will help absorb any extra spill off on the side. Now for the UV light, I let it go for 60 seconds, three times, middle, top, middle, and the bottom. All right, now I'm gonna do it again, outside of the case or outside of the tray, 60 seconds, top, middle, and the bottom, let's go. All right, there you go. Installation is pretty much complete. I may have to do a little bit of cleanup here, leftover glue from the, those strips. And I did kind of mess up as, turn the display off, there's a little bit of a dust nib right there in the middle. So that's kind of my fault, right? I should have used one of the dust removal uh, decals to take that out. Or maybe that got on there after I already put the bridge on. But in any event, I'll probably redo this again at a later date. You get the idea. That's the installation process. Somewhat complex, but after you've done these for a while, the third or fourth or the fifth time, you'll get the hang of it. Now, each installation is a little bit different. Like for instance, the Note 20 Ultra has some slightly different materials. So the procedure on that phone is a little bit different than this one. But generally speaking, that is the installation process. Just give yourself some time, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, do the installation and take your time. Got that dust nib right there. So that's a little bit annoying. That's my fault. But yeah, I love these Whitestone screen protectors. The glass feels really good, just like the glass of the phone. Take a look at the thickness right there, and also the clearance on the sides. All right, so go ahead and turn on the display. We'll check the responsiveness. As you can see, everything works. Responsiveness is good. Open this app. That works. Open this one. That works. We'll go here. These are your settings, that works. Notifications, that works. The multitasking, that works. All touch points work on the display. No issues. Nice and smooth to the touch. I love it, man. We'll do a case test real quick. We'll, this is a total lead case. We'll go ahead and put this on. Snaps on, nice and easy. We'll have a look and there is no clearance issues. We'll get in here, see that's the edge of the glass where the light's hitting it, and that's the case right there. Still have a little bit of a gap, so 
this setup works. Take a look at the cutout right here. You can see right there for the notch area. Cool. So this is the Whitestone dome glass, tempered glass screen protectors. Again, special shout out to Whitestone for sending these over. I love these protectors, the best in the business. Thanks for watching. Peace out.